What's up? 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 <laughs> what's up sussies what's up this your girl mystic sunflower i'm back to give you guys the collective general energy reading sussies it doesn't matter what your sign is for this message to resonate just please make sure you're using discernment take what resonate and leave the rest behind let's tap in sussies let's tap in let's see what's going on for you guys holy spirit holy spirit holy spirit divine my ancestors of the highest way light my spirit guys my holy angels Archangel Michael, please protect me while I channel the energy for the collective sun seeds. Anything other than the white light, please close, shut, and block that door. Please and thank you. What is the energy surrounding the collective? Give me some messages surrounding the collective. Okay. So somebody is ready to stop hiding from you. Somebody is ready to stop hiding. Just somebody who's been withdrawn from you. <clears throat> okay. This can be, you know, physically, emotionally, they could have been hiding their feelings for you. Um, but this person is saying, I'm ready to stop hiding from you, withdrawing. I feel like uh, somebody has been, whoever this person is that was, that was withdrawing from you has been going through with it. Yeah. In secret. Mm -hmm. It says, you are the love of my life. And clingy in reverse. Um, some of you guys, some seeds, you don't want this anymore. But I'm being honest, somebody else is not trying to let go. It's like, I feel like you don't want this anymore and somebody else don't want to let this go. What's this clingy in reverse? Some of you guys feel very free, like mystic stuff. Like, I feel free, free as a bird. <laughs> But whoever this person is that's clean with the clingy reverse, they desiring you. They don't want to hear that. Uh-uh. I still have growing to do. Is it reverse? Okay, so this person is um is saying that they know what they want now. So they, that's why they no longer hide it from you. Uh, they can't let go. Somebody at one point could have been non-committal, didn't know what they wanted to do, needed more growing up to do. But they say that, uh-uh. I have grown up. They were here. They wasn't forever with you. There was definitely a um an interfering uh, in your relationship. A third party could be anybody, okay? Romantic, platonic, whoever, okay. But there was somebody that was getting in the, in the way of this connection. This person could be talking to their mother or their father. Somebody is saying that they want to be better the way how they was raised. They want to be better. They want to do better. We have abundance here. I think about calling you every day. What's this? I still have more grown and doing reverse. Okay. Wow. This person wants you to marry them. This person feels like you guys have a deep spiritual connection. This person wants to forget about a pet about the past. They want a second chance with you. It's like somebody want to do things the right way this time. It says you lit a fire in my heart that continues to burn for you. Yeah, this person is in love with you. And they feel empty without you. I feel like for a lot of you guys, Sun Seeds. All oh, these cards is all over the place. Um, somebody could feel like they're all over the place. Somebody feels like you're um, you're happy, you're good without them. Uh huh. Yeah. And this is somebody who was acting like, oh, they was okay with you know, you know, you keeping your distance or you you know you feeling whatever how way how you felt, you know, as if thank you spirit as if it wasn't bothering them at all. Now somebody is tired of pretending they like, you know. Somebody feels like you perfect in the eyes. This person could have definitely went through an awakening. I feel like something um something about you guys where it was just like round and round. It's the same thing after another, after another, another. Okay. You definitely changed this person forever. I'm just trying to straighten the cards up some Steve because it was too many in reverse. Okay. But this somebody with a spiritual journey, this uh 
Somebody feel like you guys got a, a very spiritual connection. Somebody could be awakening to this connection. Because I'm seeing a judgment card in my third eye. A lot of you guys have been on this spiritual journey for a while. Um, you've been doing it by yourself. A lot of you guys, you have, you know, ascended so much. That's why you guys could have been, you know, feeling like I'm not attached to this person anymore with the clean game reverse. You know, uh, you know, I'm fine. Um, a lot of you guys don't even view this person the same. Okay. Maybe you've been through so much where you have, you know, grown on the spiritual journey where you accept things for what it is. Because it's been so long. This is somebody who's been withdrawn from you a while. And now they want to pop back up and say they're ready. But for a lot of you guys, I feel like it was because, um, yeah, I feel you in long distance. This could be at a, um, at a town, at a country, at a state. Uh, you know, you guys been distanced from each other. There's some type of traveling going on. For some of you guys, this person could be out the country, out the state. Okay? But this is somebody who wants to come closer to you. They feel like they ruined everything. And they... They care for you a lot. This is somebody who's in a lot of pain as well because of this. It's like somebody is now waking up to this spiritual connection. I feel like a lot of you guys already knew what it, what it was between you and this person. What you guys shared. What was the mission? You know? Can I have a card on the... Um... Give me another message on withdrawal. Withdrawal. Okay, and it fell out on spiritual journey. This person feels empty without you. This person could have definitely gone through a dark night of the soul. Somebody's name could be Tommy. Or T, an issue can be important for someone. This person is, I said this. I just told y'all that. This person says you make me want to be a better person. I told y'all that. Yeah. You changed this person for the good. Yeah. Oh, child. Mm. This person's afraid that you will reject them because of a third party. Yeah. It could have bothered you that someone kept a third party around. Of course that would bother my sons to eat. Yeah. Somebody feels like someone wasn't intelligent. They was very simple-minded. Somebody rejected you for somebody who they feel like is not intelligent, very simple-minded, doesn't have common sense. Yeah. Now somebody wants to... Yeah. Green. Green. I just heard green. That could be somebody's favorite color. But pause and delay. Yeah, I can't make it up. Rebound. Somebody feel like they chose someone... That weren't smart, that weren't intelligent, didn't use their common sense. Wow. Yeah, look who this is. This y'all twin. This y'all twin flame. Yeah, this connection was delayed because they were hooked up with a rebound. Possibly even married this person, gave this person a commitment. We have materialistic in reverse and you are magnetic. I'm so drawn to you. This person view you as someone uh, very um, magnetic and drawn to you because somebody view you as someone who's not materialistic. Yeah, somebody, ooh, yeah. You brighten my world. I love you. This honesty. Mm. They chose someone who was dishonest and even married them. And if it's not a legal marriage, it's just somebody who they moved in with, started a family with. And they backfired. Yeah. Somebody didn't want to like leave a third party. They didn't want to. They didn't. Somebody didn't want to let go of a third party. They wanted to have their cake and eat it too. They wanted you. And they wanted to keep this other person. And I feel like you removed yourself and went on this spiritual journey. Yeah. We got lust. Somebody is lusting over you. What's the marriage? Yeah. Affection. It was only lusty. Whoever they married, it was only lust. It wasn't It wasn't real love. Yeah, it's not over. When I think of the times we shared, I miss you so much. What can I do to make it right? Somebody feels like y'all was really close. 
Like, y'all yeah, yeah, was really close. Y'all got a lot of love for each other. I can't make it up. And my thumb was over it, so I couldn't see it. Yeah, this person loves you, son seeds. Somebody feels like you guys were very close. This person loves you. And they chose a rebound over you out of lust. Yeah. And this person knew, this person knew you didn't deserve that. This is somebody who was non-committal. And uh, it says, I abandoned people to make myself feel important. Yeah. <clears throat> this person needed to have some issues that they needed to heal from. That they was running from their own self. Running around here hurting people. Yeah. And now somebody realized what this connection means to them. Now, now that they have matured, now they have grown up. You know, now that they have grown up and somebody is hoping that now that they're ready, that you will be ready. You know, I dive in and out of relationships. There's somebody who dives in and out of relationships. We have temper. This person can have a quick temper. And we have reconcile running out of time. Yeah. Somebody knows what this temper be. Hey, you don't do, you don't do drama. You don't, you don't, you don't do stuff like that. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Yeah, somebody somebody felt like oh something couldn't be couldn't be meant to be between you guys because you wouldn't deal with these shenanigans. So something came to an end. They felt like you couldn't be for them because you wouldn't put up with their shenanigans. Yeah, because you see right through them. And now they feeling like they're running out of time with the reconcile. Yeah, this person view was very abundant. They view you as the abundance, the good luck, or her good luck charm. Somebody feels like life with you is a blessing. And they chose lust over that. Yeah, reject it and I miss you. Whoever this person that's missing you, they feel like you're going to reject them. Yeah. It, 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 look, it didn't work out between them and this third party. Third person and finances are a problem. Yeah. They going through a lot with this rebound third party. Finances are a problem. They don't have no money. <clears throat> But some of you guys, you could be dealing with somebody who was already rich, I just heard. Okay. And y'all felt like the money just wasn't enough. <clears throat> so for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with someone who's already rich or very stable. And they felt like every time they do something, they could just give you a bag of money or buy you something and make up for it. But this time, you, you it was different. For others of you guys, you was dealing with someone and... Whoever the third party is, they ain't got it. This could be the same dog on person, Spirit of Christ. Somebody lost, somebody is going through financial issues all because of a third party that they picked up with. Now, for everybody, your person was not rich. It was just somebody who had, you know, a decent job, you know, be able to pay their bills, you know, handle things. Now, this person is juggling finances and it's hard for them. They over there with this third party, but it's just lust. Yeah, it's just lust. Yeah, somebody is know that you will always reject them because they can't have you and someone else. They know that. But I feel like whoever this person is, with the you got ego and karma. Yeah, this person's getting karma, baby. Yeah. And the death of the ego. Yeah. They was too busy in their ego and their pride. Yep. I never I never knew love like this. I'm drowning in emotions. I feel like this person is not only going through karma, but going through a dark night of the soul for what they did to you. Opening chakras, jealous and and jealous and possessive. With this opening chakras and jealous and possess possessive, I feel like this person feels like you belong to them. This person also feels like you know who you are with this opening chakras. You like I said, you could have definitely um been through a spiritual awakening, went through a few ascensions. Okay. And this is somebody who feels like you belong to them. Somebody's awakening to this connection. Yeah. They feel like you they spiritual partner. They know that. Somebody also could be saying you didn't do it all by yourself. So maybe somebody is saying that they helped you on your spiritual journey. This was just a fling. Yeah, whoever this, this third party was, well, they somebody turned the fling into a, a relationship. For a lot of you guys, this person, this person settled for this person because you was on your spiritual journey and you were standing your ground working on yourself. And because they couldn't manipulate you and lie to you, they rejected you for somebody who they felt didn't have no common sense. That was then and wasn't intelligent. Oh, child. I know you were sent from heaven to show me. 
show me true love, long distance. I feel you. Whoever's person that at a distance could be definitely sending you telepathic messages trying to communicate with you. This person missed you though. Somebody feels trapped or feel like they're in their head. Ace of Pentacles, the first card out. Okay. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Somebody is wishing that they would have given you something serious. Okay. Um, yeah, gave you a serious offer, the Twin of Swords. Mm. But instead, someone betrayed you and they feel like something is over. What's this energy, Holy Spirit? Three of Wands. So whoever this person that you had a distance from. Yeah, and they going through it financially. Yep. Three of Cups. They want a chance to reconcile with you. They want a chance to come forward. Let you know everything that they've been going through since the separation. We have the Emperor. Your counterpart. We have the Seven of Cups. High Priestess. And this person is... You could be, you could feel like this person create a lot of illusions with the high priestess. I feel like you see through it, yeah. With the knight of wands, you view this person as a player, okay? Um, someone with a lot of options, someone who likes to create illusions just to get close to you. You don't trust this person. Queen of wands to the five of wands, yeah. This is somebody who definitely put you in competition, okay? Yeah. Ace of swords, spirit saying that's the truth. The higher friend to the ace of cups. King of Swords popped out. This person wants to speak some truth to you. Um, this person definitely wants to speak some truth. They want a commitment with you. They want this relationship. Somebody want to start over. Yeah, somebody want to start over and leave the past behind them. Yeah, the death card. This person could have definitely uh, went through a transformation. And they got karma for whatever they did for you. Whatever they did to you, they got karma fed. Yeah, it affected their finances. And they're watching you. Yeah, yeah, they're in this tower, they're in a lot of regrets. But see, the thing is, son, see, whoever this person is that want to come towards you and talk to you and speak some type of truth, they dealing with karma. Yeah, they and four cups, they feel like you, you good. Like, yeah, they feel like you uninterested. Four cups to the nine of pentacles, you single, abundant, you know, holding it down by yourself. And they look like you, you look like you over it, like you don't want to be bothered with it. This person who's in a regret about this loss of you, they they getting karma. Yeah, nine of swords, eight of cups. We got two nines here. So uh, closing out a cycle, uh, wrapping up a cycle of completion, eight of cups. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Somebody who walked away from you wants to spend a block. They do. Somebody didn't know that they were... Uh, See, the whoever this person is, they don't they didn't know when they came back it wasn't gonna be open. That's how they feel. The justice to the moon. Yeah. And now they're trying to figure out. It's giving um, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. This person is trying to like they're taking their time because they're trying to figure out how they could come in and strategize like what to say or how to win you back, you know. Yeah. But the moon card, the justice, somebody feel like it will only be right, it will only be fair for me to tell you how I feel. Yeah. But now they want to do this since you stand in your business and you walked away, you know? Somebody who walked away from you felt like they could come back at any time. Yeah. And it's just like tables are turning because it's like now it looks like you walking away. You're not reaching out. Yeah, we have the devils to the four wands and the lovers. Whoever they chose over you was toxic. They chose the karmic. Uh, the lovers to the devil card is always a karmic soulmate. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This is the karmic. They chose the karmic over you, and they moved in with them with the four wands. Yep. Uh-huh. Six of wands, page of pentacles, the ten of cups. Yeah, somebody feels like you get a lot of attention. Very beautiful, very handsome, very successful. Somebody feels like you're in a spotlight. Yeah. And somebody is seeing you get an opportunity that, you know, from the divine. Yeah, they see you get a fresh new beginning. Something could have started off small, but it grew to something big. Ten of cups. 
to the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you build the life, you know, whatever this is, you build the life that, that makes you very happy. You take a care of yourself. You're very grounded. Okay. Somebody view you as someone who, who will always, like, you know, you have people back. You're loyal. You hold them down. You know? Yeah, of course. Look, look at that. Look at your empress. Yeah. This person is viewing you as marriage material, wife, husband, someone who they can settle down with. Oh, somebody feel like they made the wrong choice. And they've been hiding from you because they've been going through it. They ain't been wanting you to know. Oh, yeah. Can I have a card up? Yeah, the devil to the nine of swords. This person is thinking about you a lot. They going through it. This person is going through it. And they want you to have compassion, you know, when they come back and, you know, the hangman. Oh, and it's in reverse. I mean, yeah, is it in reverse? Oh, somebody see the truth. This is definitely a major realization. Somebody is, what's the hangman? Not a wands. They don't feel good about their decisions. There's somebody who's very, uh, <sighs> Realizing that they, you know, they the one who's really messed up and, and, and did did a number on you, they it, it makes them insecure. What's the nine of wands? Page of cups. They want to apologize. Yeah, seven of swords. They want to apologize for lying to you, being sneaky. Uh huh. They want to apologize because they chose the karmic. They would somebody did something for clout and attention. The shrift card, they chose the clout and attention over a real divine feminine. Yeah. And they're looking at this person over here. Look, they're looking at how strong you are, Eight of Pentacles, how blessed you are, how you put so much work on yourself. You know, how much work you did on yourself, or how strong you are. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, you was investing in yourself. Somebody seeing you as a winner. Ten of Pentacles, I can't make it up. Damn, sunsees. You out here manifesting the damn thing. Knight of Cups. This person wants to come in and give you a cup because they see you winning. The chariot, the page of wands. Yeah, yeah. They view you as someone who's very inspirational. Your life lit. Mm. Somebody view you as blessed. And somebody feel like you living your life without any regrets, living your best life. Yeah, damn, ten of pentacles, seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles, a shrimp. Man, you did that. Somebody feel like you live your life without any regrets. And they full of them. Yeah, five of pentacles and the six of pentacles. Somebody wants you to give to them. They need help. Yeah, the star card. Very inspirational. Very healing. Yeah, you get a lot of attention. And then uh, somebody else don't like that. They don't like that. <laughs> Eight of Wands, they about to rush in. Somebody feels like, uh-uh, you minds. Or, you know, somebody feel like they helped you on the spiritual journey. Somebody feel like if they would have did what they did to you, you wouldn't be where you at. I don't know who that's for. But, wow, that came through. Ace of Wands. Wow. They view you as someone who's very mot motivational, very mo Somebody feel like you're motivated. Somebody view you as different from like most people that they ever met. Of course, because of your twin flame. Ace of Wands, Eight of Swords. They all in their head about this, this new beginning that you got. Yeah, and they don't like this. You standing on business. You know, they don't mm, they don't like that energy. Let's get you some, some signs. They wanna they wanna come in and break the ice, but there's some check, but there's some truth that you want to hear from this person. And I feel like this is going to admit everything. First card out is Leo. Second card is Virgo. We have Pisces. And we have Scorpio. Sagittarius. Like, somebody is like, they don't want to mess around with a bunch of clowns and, and karmics anymore. Somebody wants to, somebody wants the Empress. The Emperor. Aquarius. Taurus. 
We have Aries and we have Gemini. Okay. I love you guys so very much, Sunsees. I hope this reading was able to help you, give you guys clarity until we get up next time. Later.